Hello everyone, I'm Jimmy Wang. This is a pre-recorded video for Chess 2020. This work is entitled Defeating State of the Art White Box Countermeasures with Advanced Grey Box Attacks is a collaboration works with Louis Kuban and Mathieu Hippin. This work was done when I was a PhD student at the University of Luxembourg and the University of Paris 8. We consider two parties to communicate over an insecure channel with the pre-shared secret K. The classical cryptanalysis is done in a black box model in the sense that the adversary only has access to the encryption decryption algorithm as a black box. That is, the adversary can only learn the input and output behavior of the cipher. A cipher has to be implemented in the software or hardware to be useful. When the cipher is implemented in hardware, then the adversary is further able to access to the physical information of the execution of the cipher, such as the power consumption. This secure model is called a gray box model. In an extreme case, the adversary can fully control an implementation of some cipher and its execution environment. In this model, the capability of the adversary are greatly enhanced. We call this secure model a white box model. In the white box model, the adversary tries to extract the underlying secret key from a software implementation of some cipher. The adversary could represent malware, malicious applications in the same host, and even the application user themselves. The adversary could try all possible means. For instance, she, she could perform static or dynamic analysis of the code. She could uh, spy on the memory while ex executing the code. She can even modify the code, inject faults, and employ the erroneous execution. She can easily reset the external randomness. Traditionally, secure hardware is used to protect the secret keys in Cypher. However, such a hardware is not always available. Besides, it is costly to maintain the long life cycle of uh, secure hardware. Most importantly, it is not easy to mitigate the security breach of uh, hardware. In many real world applications, cryptographic algorithm has to be deployed in pure software. Such applications including digital content distribution, mobile payment, digital con contract signing, and blockchain technologies. As illustrated by Shamir, and one submarine. If the key is not practiced, it is trivial for the auditory to extract the key from the memory since the key looks random. Hence, in these applications, white box crypto is an essential component to protect the security of the system. Unfortunately, all existing public White box designs in the literature are broken by structural analysis, and we don't have any provably secure white box for any standard cipher. However, the demand of the white box crypto from the industry keeps growing, and there is a huge application potential for white box crypto. This forces industry to achieve security through obscurity, namely, they use homemade the white box design, then they put a layer of obfuscation to protect uh, their homemade design. The industry hopes this would discourage the tiger by time consuming reverse engineering and a new structure analysis. At the test 2016, both Eto suggested to apply differential power analysis techniques to break white box implementations. Classical DPA in group box model works with noisy side channel leakage such as power consumption, electromagnetic radiation, and execution time. In white box model, the attack is called a differential computation analysis since the attack works with the noisy free computational leakage, which could be any collected running information such as values in the register and the memory. DCA is a generic attack because it doesn't need to know any implementation detail. Surprisingly, DCA orders have shown that it's able to break any public available white box implementation. DCA has become a main threat of the security through of security paradigm since then. In this contest, two editions of 
we box competition are organized as just CDF events. As quoted from WeBox 2017, the competition gives an opportunity for researchers and practitioners to confront their secretly designed wet box implementations to the state of the art attack. The competition invites designers to submit a CSOS code of AES128 with the secretly chosen key and invite attackers to reveal the hidden keys in this implementation. The, par the participants uh, doesn't have to disclose their identity or designing or attacking techniques. The first competition took place in 2017. It attracted 94 submissions, which were all broken with nearly 900 individual breaks. Most of them were broken in one day, and it is reported that most of them came broken simply by DC attacks. A new addition took place in 2019. New rules are introduced to encourage designers to submit a smaller and faster implementation. Finally, 27 implementations were submitted and only three of them stayed alive until the last minute of the competition. They were broken soon after the competition with the techniques present in this, in this talk. So since this is a DPA, techniques used in wet box contest. It is nature to adopt the DPA countermeasures to protect with white box implementations. In this presentation, I will first talk about advanced green box countermeasures that are used in practical wet box implementations, as well as the three winning implementation of WeBox box 2019. In the same time, I will present different attacking paths against these countermeasures and analyze the performance in terms of competition complexity. Then I will, I will introduce a new data dependency based attack that substantially improves the attacking complexity. Finally, I will conclude the talk. So we start with the linear masking countermeasure and the two attacks against it. Then we talk about algebraic security and nonlinear masking countermeasures. Finally, we talk about the rule of shuffling countermeasure played in a white box implementation. Linear masking is a widely deployed group box countermeasure. The idea is to split any key dependent sensitive intermediate variable in the implementation into n shares. Then the n shares are manipulated in a way such that any n minus one shares is independent of x. Apparently, linear masking of n shares is able to resist against the n minus one order DC attacks. The high order DC attack first pre-process the competition traces and obtain high order degree traces, then apply standard DC on the high order traces. A high order trace contains symbols combining any n tuples in the original trace since it has t chosen endpoints when t is, where t is the original trace size and n is the attacking order. The neutral combination function to attack linear masking is XOR sum, since it simply reveals the sensitive variables. In an obscure white box implementation, we don't know where the n shares are, hence the, side, the tra attacking trace window size t could be very large which makes the high order DC be impractical. For example, if the linear masking order n equals to five and the attacking window size is uh, uh, 1000, then there would be 1000 chosen five shares in the high order traces, which is uh, about 2243. So here we present uh, a linear decoding analysis whose complexity is independent with the linear masking order. The attack assumes that there exists a linear decoding function that could reveal the key dependent sensitive variable. So the LDA attack first collects many competition traces and make predictions to the attacked variable according to the key guesses and trying to solve this linear system. Apparently, this system is solvable for the correct key guesses, 
but for the incorrect key guesses, as long as the number of choices n is slightly larger than the window size t. Hence, the trace complexity of LDA is t plus big O of one, and the competition complexity is the complexity to solve a linear system times the size of the key searching space. For example, when the attacking window size t equal to 1000, the complexity to solve one linear system needs 2228 uh, operations, which is independent with the linear masking order, and which is uh, uh, faster than high order DC with the same parameter. Next, we talk about algebraic security and nonlinear masking quantum mirror. Algebraic security is proposed by Bukov and Yudwenko at Asia Crypt 2018. A deep degree algebraically secure nonlinear masking ensures that any function of up to degree to the intermediate variables shouldn't compute a predictable value. The authors also designed a first degree, a first degree secure nonlinear masking scheme, which resists against the LDA attack. In their scheme, in their, in, in their scheme each sensitive variable is included by three variables, A, B, C, and uh, with the quadratic decoding function A times B plus C. They designed the secure guarantees of bit operations and approved their composability. Notice, this scheme itself is vulnerable to DC attack since the correlation score between the sensitive variable and the C is one over two. Hence the authors suggest use, using a combination of linear masking and nonlinear masking to draw both BCA and the LDA attacks at the same time. However, the authors didn't show how to do that. In this presentation, we suggest the three possible nature combinations. The first combination consists in applying linear masking on top of nonlinear masking. That is the sensitive variable first nonlinearly shared, then each nonlinear share is further linearly shared. The second combination consists in applying nonlinear masking on top of linear masking. That is the sensitive variable firstly linearly shared, then each linear shear further nonlinearly shared. The third uh, um, combination merge uh, the best of the two masking and they get a new encoding. You have two, you have two possible interpretation for this new encoding. The first interpretation, you can think the sense of variable is first uh, nonlinear shared, then the linear share then the linear share, uh, the, then the C in the nonlinear uh, non share uh, is further linearly shared. Or you can interpret uh, the, the, uh, the sense to variable first uh, linearly shared, but uh, the first uh, linear share is nonlinearly shared. For the first two combinations, the combined masking gadgets can be simply derived from the original gadgets of both schemes. For the third combination, new gadgets need to be developed. However, this is not the scope of this presentation. So when they present uh, high decoding, high degree decoding analysis, which could break a combination of linear masking and nonlinear masking. So we first assume that, that the decoding function um, to, so we first uh, uh, assume that there exists a deep degree decoding function that reveals the sensitive variable. Similar to the high order DCA, high degree decoding analysis also first pre-process is the original computation traces, then applies a RDA analysis. A deep degree trace contains all monomials of degree not greater than D, hence it contains T2D symbols. The complexity of uh, high degree good analysis, hence, is to solve a linear system with the um, T2D uh, variables times the size of the key space. Note that this complexity 
can only be practical when both the attacking window T and the decoding uh, function degree D are small. For instance, if we want to bound the T to uh, two pointer times D less than two to 50, then if D equals two, it means T less than 487. If the decoding degree D is equal to three, this says, this says that we can only attack a window with the only less than 62 variables. Next, uh, we talk about the shuffling countermeasure. Shuffling is another commonly used uh, grid box countermeasure. The idea is to randomly choose the execution order in each run of the implementation. Thus, the noise in the adversary's observation will be increased. It has been shown that only shuffling operation order is insufficient in wet box model, since the adversary could realign the tree symbols according to their memory addresses. Hence, we don't have we have to shuffle the usage of them memory as well. If Shuffling is uh, applied together with the masking and the mirror. There won't be a fixed uh, location for all shares uh, in a competition trees. If the shuffling degree is lambda, which means uh, the operation is suffered in lambda slots, uh, the higher order degree uh, correlation score will be degraded uh, by a factor of lambda, hence the attack will be slowed down by uh, uh, lambda square. Uh, if the adversary is lucky, he is able to uh, integrate uh, values in all of the lambda slots, then the correlation score is only decreased by uh, uh, a factor of square of roots, as the attacking slowdown is lambda. When masking and shuffling both applied, if the attacking window and the linear masking order is big, the high order DC attack would be impractical. Next part, uh, we will try to improve DC attack by exploiting data dependency of the implementation. So a wet box adversary uh, can also observe any internal states of a, a wet box implementation. It can also observe the data flow of the implementation. From the data flow, the adversary could easily build the data dependency graph of an uh, implementation. While breaking the winning implementation of Webox 2017, we gradually reveal the structure for AES first round by plotting data dependency graph and manage to locate the, the first round SBOX output included in a small window of about only 15 variables. However, the data dependency graph doesn't always visually disclose implementation detail. Nevertheless, to attack a uh, an obscure wet box implementation, it can still minimize the attack interest window by exploiting the data dependency in an autom automatic way. Hereafter, we show that how data dependency analysis can be used to break linear masking and the nonlinear masking combination. So our analysis is inspired by observation in linear masking gadget for an operation. A secure linear masking gadget takes the linear shares of two variables and obtains the linear shares of their products. The linear share gadgets can be interpreted as a sum of three matrices and then sum the values in the same row. If you look at the share of uh, x, the first share x1, it multiplies with all shares of uh, y Y1, Y2, Y3. This is also true for the second share of uh, X. It multiplies with all the shares of Y. Uh, this is also true for all the other shares of X. So each share of X, XI, is multiplied with all shares of Y. And uh, each uh, uh, share of y, 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 i is multiplied with all shares of x. This is true for any uh, uh, linear masking order. Now consider a circuit-based wet box implementation. So for each gate, 
we compute its cooperator for and operation. For instance, if we look at uh, git c, it uh, multiplied with b d e three git, and uh, we consider b d e is the uh, cooperant for git c for and operation. As we have shown before, if C happens to be a share of some variable, BDE could be a linear share of uh, some sensitive intermediate variable. Hence, our data dependency analysis then collects data dependency traces, which contains the sum of the cooperants of each gate for end operation. Then we perform standard DCA on the data dependency traces. The attack would uh, succeed if some biased variable recovered in the data dimension traces. Note that if there are some noise in the set of uh, uh, cooperants for end operation, we could simply emulate the sum of uh, all subsets of the cooperant set. This attack would substantially improve the competition complexity by avoiding obtaining high order traces, which is exponential complexity in terms of linear masking order. We use this data dependency uh, attacks to break all three winning implementations from Webox 2019. So now we have revisited all advanced to box Connemara and attacks. Let's give a comparison of different attacks against the different kind of mirror combinations. We first consider when shuffling is absent. Then LDA against the linear masking requires T traces and each competition complexity is big O of T2 2.8 times the key searching space. The high degree decoding analysis against the linear masking and the linear masking combination requires um, big O of uh, T square traces, and uh, the competition complexity is big O of uh, T to uh, 5.6 times the key searching space. For high order DCA, since the application of uh, nonlinear masking is only decrease uh, the correlation score, hence the complexity um, before and after nonlinear masking uh, is. Uh, asymptotically same. So when shuffling is applied, algebraic attack doesn't work anymore. If the shuffling degree is lambda, uh, the high order DC requires the lambda square mole traces and uh, also uh, needs uh, lambda square mole uh, computation power. This is true uh, both for nonlinear masking exist and not exist. And the in integrated uh, high order DCA only have a lambda slowdown. So, so now let's put our data dependency analysis in the comparison and the assumption that there exists a gate whose cooperant are exactly the share of uh, some key dependent variable. We can see uh, that its complexity has no exponential part since it doesn't need to. Uh, get the high order combination of, of four attacking trees. This is true when, when shuffling is involved as well. Uh, finally, the conclusion. So in this article, we re revisited all the state of the art mirrors employed in uh, particular white box implementation. Uh, we also quantified the different uh, group box uh, attacking paths and, a compare and have a performance uh, comparison against the different uh, uh, counter mirrors. And we propose uh, new attacks based on data dependency analysis, which uh, substantially improve the competition complexity of the existing uh, advanced attacks. And we use this attack to break three winning uh, white box uh, uh, implementation from Webox 20. Uh, 19. Uh, finally, the paper and the tag uh, are both online. Thank you.